we are appreciating the lives you are living the things that you're asking for the things that you are letting in the expansion of your desire it's just what you said you would do you said you would focus here with others and because of the diverse experience with others you your importance is important for us to help you to understand you valuable you with your unique perspective would come to your unique preferences and decisions and conclusions not listening for the loudest and not trying to get others to stop wanting what they want but you to choose from the variety of your earthly smorgasbord what you prefer right now with an understanding you held this understanding when you made the decision to come into this body with the understanding that as you choose bit by bit and you know that your choices evolve as does your experience in life when you're little your choices don't seem so big or so vast they aren't they're simpler but as you spend more time here with others and with yourself your choices become more sophisticated they become more specific and therefore they become what most humans experience as more complicated because your focus is not understood the power of your focus the importance of your focus your ability to decide as life helps you to do it and then to choose to focus predominantly upon what you have chosen rather than upon continuing to focus upon the opposite of what you want in order to justify what you want that's what messes most humans up they live and they prefer it's easy to know what feels good it's easy to know kindness and love and appreciation it's easy to know success and exhilaration and clarity and confidence it's easy to know those things feel good it's easy to feel those things are good but so often on your way to choosing concluding deciding you spend a lot of time justifying to others simply because they are choosing differently as if there weren't plenty of opportunities for plenty of choices to be made it's like sometimes you think that you have to be right for everybody and oh that really is not what you intended as a horde of deliberate creators bound for this creative experience you did not plan on getting everybody to agree with you in fact your diversity was something that you knew would be your greatest overall mass consciousness benefit all these choices all this balance all this opportunity but when you get sort of human focused where you have in large part come to represent a really flawed premise and the flawed premise that so many humans are sort of stuck on we're going to shake it loose a little bit here today is that there is a finite amount of goodness that you are fighting over that if you don't fight your way to your fair share that you will be left out and what's so confounding to you who continue to try that is that you can't fight your way to the things that you want because the fighting is the pushing against what you don't want and you can't get to what you want by pushing against what you don't want and we know that's a brain twister because it has been such a human plan for so long well we'll just get rid of what we don't want so there's a war against this and a war against that and a war against this and a war against that and all of those things are becoming more and more and more because a war against something means focus upon it and focus upon it means momentum about it and momentum about it means more attraction of it so it really means that when you push against what you do not want even in justification of what you do want you hold your yourself apart from what you want
which just supports your flawed premise. It makes you think, I should push harder against what I don't want. What I don't want is winning. It never will. It isn't, and it never will. But you can pinch yourself off from a lot of happy moments and from a lot of good timing and from a lot of realization of the worthiness and goodness that is you. So we just want to start there a little strong because we want you to feel as these hours together are unfolding today how easy it is really to live life and choose what you prefer and then to focus there and witness you witness universal forces backing you up all of you all of you in other words we're not here supporting one lifestyle over another one religion over another one anything over another thing we are all we are we focused from non-physical you focused from physical and non-physical we are all in this together and the point of it is expansion the point of it is the eternal nature of our beingness we will not not any of us cease to be you're not ever going to get it done you're not ever going to cease to be lively aware conscious consciousness you always are that the point of it is to be joyful in the being of that you see and so is struggle necessary in the way that contrast is helpful you could say but if we were standing in your physical shoes we would become more deliberate pointers at what we desire more consistent pointers at what we want and we would focus a lot less by virtue of what we're focusing a lot more on to hear that you can't focus in two directions at once I want it but I want it but I want it but I'd like more money but no one in my family's ever had any money that's pointing over there and then pointing over there and when you point over there you're not pointing over there and when you are pointing over there you're not pointing over there but when you're pointing over there you're not pointing over there pretty obvious isn't it so what waters down what you want is your conversation about not having it yet and so we could say to you in a very blunt bold loud statement that what is slowing you from a future that you desire is a present that you're complaining about because whether you're focused past present or future you're focused and your point of attraction is about what you're focused on and so we get it if you don't feel good you don't feel good we get it we don't deny that we don't even think that you should get over that that's not what we mean at all we're just saying that the law of attraction is responding to your vibration and how you feel is about your point of attraction so if you are afraid your point of attraction is not letting in the solutions that you want if you feel taken advantage of or like you don't have enough money that feeling of not enoughness that is based upon what you're focused upon about something that may be factual and true right now keeps you from being in the right place at the right time and rendezvousing with the right experience even the right idea to fulfill the things that you want you are the chooser of your experience we just want you to understand that you're choosing through your focus not through your words your words do not mean diddly squat they often reflect how you feel in other words ornery words usually reflect ornery feeling and fearful words often reflect insecure fearful point of attraction we're not saying that there's not a connection to it we're just saying if you will stop relying on your words and instead pay attention to how you feel you'll always know where you are in relationship to whether you're letting in what you're asking for or whether you are currently holding yourself apart from what you're asking for and when you get it that you are always that defining deciding factor you are always the only one that is letting it in or not letting it in whether it's wanted or unwanted it feels to you often 
that someone else is responsible for what's happening to you because you think a lot about them but it's your thoughts about them that are causing your vibration to not sync up with the abundance and the clarity that you seek and so what we're really talking about here is thinking on purpose thinking in order to feel if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next